Okay, so guys, I'm going to be changing the content on my channel a little bit. Not that anyone will care except for my 21 subs. I'm going to start doing short game reviews and similar dumb stuff. I'm mostly going to focus on indie games and probably go over a few of my personal favorites. I'm changing my channel because I suck at uploading and my most viewed video involves a red haired redneck yelling at Valve to fix their stupid game and I'm very sure that's just him watching the video over and over again. Love you Cody. How are you Cody? I'm so mad. I know. I'm so confused. What the fuck? Uh, they were flashed! We are losing! Never Why? Mind. What the? Uh. You having fun, Cody? No! <laughs> I like winning! So, to start this new direction off, I'm going to be taking a look at Ravenfield. Well, I already looked at it, but whatever. So, I tried playing this game for 2 hours 30 minutes so I can get that refund because I'm an asshole. And it was 15 bucks for an extremely repetitive game and I only lasted one. At first I really enjoyed playing this game. It had some nice game mechanics like randomly dying right after you spawn. And I'm dead. That's the anti-air gun. And Clark. Okay. This looks old. Oh and I died. Or the swimming mechanics where it looks like the autistic kid from around the next block came over to swim in the public pool for the first time. Jesus Christ. There are different game modes you can do with the bots because there's no multiplayer. Just bots who have either aim lock or the aim of a silver one. There's a mix of team deathmatch and demolition where the bots get in helicopters and they're better shots than the pilots in Apocalypse Now. And then there is the stealthy game mode, where you have to sneak in and kill the whole enemy team, but when your teammate's sneaky mechanic consists of running in and getting you killed, the best thing you can do is kill them all at the start and try to win by yourself. There are a few game mechanics I did enjoy. I was pleasantly surprised to find that the game had a bullet drop. So overall, I think the game has potential in the far future and then it would be a good $10 game. But right now, it's a okay $5 game, not 15 So in the end, it's just an unturned deathmatch server that fucks Splatoon.